All right, so I've had a few questions on how the animated decals work. So this is the blueprint that you'll mostly be working with to spawn these things. And if we open this up, you can see that this decal is just inheriting from the main decal class that's included in Unreal Engine, and we're just extending on that to add some extra functionality. So all of the decals have these, these exposed parameters here. We've got the update time, so this is how fast it's going to tick and update. Um, so depending on how many decals you have, you may want to adjust this value to optimize it uh, a little bit more, but by default there's no on tick events or anything, it's pretty cheap. Um, so we've got the update time here, every 0.025, and then frames per update. So each time this increments, it's going to move forward 0.2 frames in the animation. So these two values basically determine your frame rate. Um, so you can play around with these, increase this value, and lower this value will give you a high frame rate. Um, and then we have the splash speed here. So what the splash speed does is it will change the initial frame rate for the first 12% of frames. So this gives you a nice splatter effect. So if we put this at zero, you'll see it kind of goes in slowly. Bit by bit, you can see the blood chunking onto the wall. It doesn't look that good. If we set this to 0 0.125, all of a sudden it feels more like it's uh, hitting the wall with a bit more impact. And you could lower that or play with the values to whatever style you like. Um, then we've got the dry over time, so you don't have to turn this on if you don't want to, but if you do, it will give your decals a bit more functionality. So we've got the dry delay and the decal lifetime here. Uh, you want to make sure that these values sort of are lining up. Um, but the, the, uh, the dry time can happen before the, uh, the lifetime. Normally that's better anyway. You'd probably want to set that at 3. Um, but in any case, you've got the dry delay, the decal lifetime, and then you have these variables here that control the drying itself. So the drying speed is how fast the uh, the metallic and roughness value is going to change each update. So by default, uh, it's going to dry out, it's going to lose all of its metallic value, and it's going to go all the way to 0 0.9 roughness. And this is dynamic depending on what you've set inside the material, uh, material instance. So depending on your roughness in here, um, it will take longer or slower to you know cross that full range. Um, but these values will control the drying out. So all you need to do then is instantiate or spawn these particles in your scene. Uh, you can just like you'd spawn any other decal, use ray casts to spawn them behind enemies where they're shot. There's lots of lots of YouTube tutorials that cover this sort of thing in more detail. Um, I'm just using this video to go over this specific functionality of this asset but I hope that answers any questions people might have had and yeah thanks for watching thanks for the support I'll be back next time bye